Okay, one question people have often is, how do I present material and still get to see what's going on on the screen? So really the easiest way to do that is to present from another device. So, so you can join your Google Meet. I've got uh, set up my document camera here to kind of show you guys what that is. But um, so in this Google Meet, um, one of the things that we can do is you can open up a different device, whether it's your iPhone or an iPad or an Android phone or a Chromebook or another device, and you can join the meeting and present from one device, which will still allow you on your other device to see all of your meeting participants. Um, it's super easy to do. I'm using my uh, personal phone for this one. So what I've got for this is I'm going to uh, get logged in. I'm going to open up Google Slides. So I've got my Google Slides opened up. Now, one of the things that you can do with this when you get into here is I'm opening up a presentation right from my Google Slides. So this is a Veterans Day assembly that we showed. Now, if I want to present this to, right on my phone or this is, again, on my other on another device, mobile device, I'm going to hit the play button to present it. And then my options are I can present on this device, uh, present to a Chromecast if we had one, or present to a newer existing meeting. Or if I have a scheduled calendar meeting, now we don't do this for students, but if it was something you're presenting to staff, it was a calendar meeting, then it would show up in your calendar meeting here. But I'm going to present this to a newer existing meeting. I'm going to use my code, which is going that I put in here to start this meeting. Oh, let me get this right. I can spell it. All right. There you go. So then once I join this meeting, you will notice that I ha am now presenting. Um, if there were other people that were joining the meeting, I could see or share what was going on on the meeting. And so then this would uh, give us everything that we've got for it. Um, so we're recording our screen here. And so then this would go through. And then what I can do is this is a time slide. But then from my slideshow, if I wanted to, I could um, change or advance or change the slides as I saw fit when I'm done presenting. I could hit this the button and I could stop presenting. Um, also, another th neat thing that you can do with this is join Google Meet from your personal device, and then I can share from my iPhone. So maybe there's something on my iPhone that I wanted to share with them. So what I could do is I'm going to hit to join a meeting. Again, I'm going to use that that code that I put in here, which for mine we've just got here, and I'm going to join the meeting. I'm going to join with my camera off here for this one. So I'm going to join this meeting. Oh. Turn my mic off. Too. So now that I've turned my microphone off, one of the things that I can do with this uh, is I can present right directly from my screen. Uh, and so if I go to present from my screen on this, on my phone, let me change my camera here real fast. All right. So if I go and I'm going to change my camera on here real fast. So now that I've joined this meeting, so this would be me on the meeting. If I go, I can go in now and I can go to share my screen. And then from the share on my screen, I can start broadcast on my iOS or mobile device. And this will now share the screen of my mobile device. So then when I'm in here, I can uh, see what everybody else is seeing. So then I could see um, whatever I put on my screen would be on the Google Meet on the other end of it. So then you could see everything that's going on in the Meet. And so that's a quick way to share your screen or share present from a second device.